Hi there, today we're going to be looking at frequency distribution tables and continuous data. Continuous data includes all measured values, for example 13.68. Continuous data is displayed on frequency tables in classes. Classes are ranges of values with clear boundaries, for example a variable m is greater than or equal to 0 and less than 5. To estimate the mean of the dataset, the midpoint which is denoted by the variable x for each class is used. In the class which ranges from 0 to 5, the midpoint is the lower limit 0 plus the upper limit 5 divided by 2. The midpoint is 2.5. In our diagram on the right, we have a frequency table with the headings mass, frequency, midpoint and fx. We have three classes shown in the first column. In the third column, we have the midpoint of each class displayed. Similar to frequency tables for discrete data, we have columns for frequency and the frequency multiplied by x. Let's take a look at this example. I recorded the heights of 10 people in centimetres. The values are displayed in this table. A. Construct a frequency distribution table using the headings height, frequency, midpoint and frequency multiplied by midpoint. First, we need to create height classes. To do this, we will group the heights in ranges of 10. The first height class is between 140 centimeters and 150. The second height class is between 150 centimeters and 160. The third height class is between 160 centimeters and 170. The last height class is between 170 centimeters and 180. To complete the frequency column, we need to count the number of people in each height class. There is one person in the first height class. There are three people that belong in the height class. Four people belong in the third height class. There are two people that belong in the last height class. In the next column, x represents the midpoint of each class. The midpoint of the first class is 145. The next is 155, 165 and 175. To complete the fx column, we need to multiply the frequencies with the midpoint. Our first answer will be given by 1 multiplied by 145 to get 145. 3 multiplied by 155 gives 465. 4 multiplied by 165 gives 660. 2 multiplied by 175 gives 350. To complete the sum of f, we need to add all the values in the frequency column. 1 plus 3 plus 4 plus 2 gives 10. To complete the sum of fx, we need to add all the values in the fx column. We will get 1620. B. Estimate the mean. The mean will be given by the sum of fx divided by the sum of f. The sum of fx is 1620. The sum of f is 10. Therefore, the mean will be 162 centimeters. C. Which height class contains the median height? The middle person will be between person number 5 and person number 6. The median height class is between 160 and 170. D. Find the modal class. The mode is the most common height. The most common height range is between 160 and 170. Part E. Creates a frequency polygon to represent the data. Here is our frequency polygon. We have the midpoints of each height class on the x-axis and the frequency on the y-axis. Ensure that your scale is evenly spaced.